Here's how I approach synthesis questions in OCHEM. First, always count your carbons in both your starting material and product. If your product has more carbons, you're definitely forming new bonds at some point, but if it has fewer, that's a good sign you'll need to break a bond somewhere. Second, find the site of reactivity. In this example, we can see our starting material in the product, which means everything else was added. This is the new bond we formed, making this our reactive carbon. Third, compare your functional groups. Here we start with the primary alcohol and end with an aldehyde, which can easily be done by oxidizing with PCC. But what if you can't directly convert one functional group into another? Find which functional groups can make the product and try to form those. We can't directly turn this alkyl bromide into an aldehyde, but we can turn an alcohol into an aldehyde. So how do we get from an alkyl bromide to an alcohol? SN2. Once we have the alcohol, we can then oxidize it into an aldehyde forming our product. Remember, the best way to master synthesis is through practice and finding a strategy that works best for you.